Asia-Pacific markets were mixed on Wednesday as investors assessed inflation data from around the region. China's May inflation rate came in at 0.3%, rising for a fourth straight month, signalling an ongoing recovery in domestic demand. Non-food prices continue to grow amid stable inflation for clothing, housing and health, as well as a slight move in education costs. Meanwhile, producer prices dropped by 1.4% year-on-year, following a 2.5% decrease in April. It marks the 20th consecutive contraction in factory prices, but the softest since February 2023. Investors will now turn their focus on U.S. consumer prices, which are due out just hours before the Federal Reserve's policy rate decision later on Wednesday. Let's get more on this now with Naeem Aslam in Dubai. He's Chief Investment Officer at Zay Capital Markets. Good to have you back with us, Naeem. Now, a fourth straight month of inflation in China. What's driving domestic demand? Sure, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm just for the record, I'm back in London. Uh, look, uh, if you look at the CPI number over in China, we have actually seen a much better reading in comparison to the forecast, in comparison to the previous uh, number as well. So I think the print has actually brought a lot more better news than what the market was anticipating, or especially when you compare this inflation data, the inflation story with other major economies, for example, the United States, where the, all the momentum is very much focused on what the data is going to bring in terms of today's print. Right, and we're also seeing producer prices continue to fall, albeit at a softer pace. What's this telling us about the state of China's recovery? Well, look, was, the state of China's recovery was very much evident in the recent GDP number which came out of China in terms of the import and export numbers which came out of China. And then the, both of them have shown that, yes, export numbers have shown it recently that the, 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 the situation is pretty uh, uh, strong over, over in China. But if you are referring to this specific number, then, of course, the overall economic engine of the world, and, we're, and I'm really referring to the United States, States or even in the UK where we had the GDP data very much flirting with the recession, you know, recessionary reading, while if you read the headlines they will say, oh, it's because of the softer uh, weather or the rainy weather the consumers weren't able to go out. I mean, UK isn't really a Mediterranean state or is it Dubai where people are not used to of a rain and because of that people didn't go out and they didn't shop. The, re the reality of the fact is that the policy makers over here have failed to produce disposable income in consumers' pocket. And because of that, of course, the producer prices over in China are also soft as well, because if consumer spending, business capex is aren't strong, then obviously producer prices aren't going to be that great as well. Right now, all eyes are shifting towards the US ahead of the Fed's interest rate decision, as well as May inflation data. What's the market sentiment? Yeah, this is a really interesting um, paradigm that we are in, because if we just go back a little bit, what happened on Friday, many speculators and i.e. gurus were saying that, you know what, today's number is not going to be that much of importance for the market. But the reality is that today's three events are the most important for the markets. Number one, of course, the CPI, and then the FOMC, and then the press conference. Followed by that, we also have the economic projections from the FOMC members, i.e. the dot plot. So if the CPI number uh, comes significantly lower than the expectations, I think that the Fed is already very much in the corner to cut the interest rate, then there's a probability of a two interest rate cut. Now, if the CPI number only matches the expectations or comes hotter than the forecast, then we will have one door completely shut. Which, which door is that? That door is for an interest rate cut of maybe two times this year. That door will close. And another door will open. Which door is that? That will be the conversations of having one more interest rate hike rather than a cut. And I think it is in this perspective that the dot plot are going to be incredibly important going into today's event.